Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer from the Peak 5 Vicarage. This is Carolyn MacDonald speaking. And we're using the We Worship book from the Iona community, published by Wild Goose Worship Group. We're using Morning Liturgy C. The scripture today is Psalm 131. You might like to find that. Remember that you can join in the responses if you like when you hear something repeated or as we get to know this liturgy we can share it together. O oh God, you summon the day to dawn. You teach the morning to waken the earth. Great is your name. Great is your love. For you the valleys shall sing for joy, the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Great is your name, great is your love. For you the monarchs of the earth shall bow, the poor and persecuted shall shout for joy. Great is your name, great is your love. Your love and mercy shall last for ever, fresh as the morning, sure as the sunrise. Great is your name, great is your love. Let us pray. Lord God, early in the morning, when the world was young, you made life in all its beauty and terror. You gave birth to all that we know. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, when the world least expected it, a newborn child crying in a cradle announced that you had come among us, that you were one of us. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, Surrounded by respectable liars, religious leaders, anxious statesmen and silent friends, you accepted the penalty for doing good, for being God. You shouldered and suffered the cross. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, a voice in a guarded graveyard and footsteps in the dew proved that you had risen, that you came back to those and for those who had forgotten, denied and destroyed you. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Early in the morning, in the multicoloured company of your church on earth and in heaven, we celebrate your creation your life, your death and resurrection, your interest in us. So to you we pray, Lord, bring new life. When we are worn and tired, new love where we have turned hard-hearted, forgiveness where we feel hurt and where we have wounded, and the joy and freedom of your Holy Spirit where we are the prisoners of ourselves. To all and to each where regret is real, God pronounces pardon and grants us the right to begin again. Thanks be to God. Amen. So our scripture is from Psalm 131, starting at verse 1. Let us listen for the word of the Lord. O Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvellous for me. But I have calmed and quieted my soul 
like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time and evermore. Isn't that a lovely picture of a child resting with their mother, content, at peace, calm and still? As we say the Lord's Prayer at the beginning or the end of the day or at one o'clock with the rest of the world as our um, Archbishop has asked us, we come again to find the still small voice of love at the very heart of who we are. Children resting in the grace and love of God. Our prayers for today. Let us prepare ourselves for the day before us and claim its potential sent by God. We bring to God our concerns for today. We bring to God the people that God has placed on our hearts today. And we pray for ourselves. Lord, give us wisdom before we speak, understanding while we listen, sensitivity towards those we meet, and the perspective of your kingdom in which to see the things of the earth. Bring us to the day's ending, blessed through having shared the day's beginning. In Christ's name we ask this. Amen. As you set off to the rest of your day, whatever it may hold for you, whatever opportunities there might be, whatever sorrows or suffering or joys and treasures you find, here is God's blessing. May God bless us May God keep us in the Spirit's care and lead our lives with love. May Christ's warm welcome shine from our hearts and Christ's own peace prevail through this day and every day till greater life shall call. Amen. <laughs>